is this is book one. Uh, we're going to be demonstrating the C string today and performing pieces on the C string. We're also going to be adding a new rhythm component today and that is the whole note. And the whole note is a very slowly held bow stroke that I will show you after we've completed number 149. We're starting with 144. This is what your C string, open C string note, looks like. It hangs well behind, sorry, well below the staff. It has what we call a ledger line underneath it. And your C string, which is one of the most beautiful strings on the instrument, sounds like this. <laughs> three fingers down. Use your diagram to help you with the fingers. Also remember when you're playing over on your C string you have to get your arm underneath the instrument. Swing that arm underneath towards your belly button to help you support. Okay here we go third finger down the note is F. One, two, three, four. fingers down on the C string now is E. One, two, three, four. Third finger, second, third, first finger down, the note is D. Remember to use your alphabet, C, D, E, F. Here we go. This is D on the C string. One, two, three, four. Next up is your C major scale. This will begin on your G string and just peel the fingers off and then when you get to F you're going to go over to your C string, third finger down. One, two, three, four. Sorry. Almost had the wrong note there. Here we go. Try again. Two, three, four. page 37. The whole note looks like uh, just a note head. There's no stem on it and the whole note takes up a whole measure. So you won't find any other notes in a measure that has a whole note. So in your rhythm wrap it talks about shadow bowing and going very slowly. So in the air you would be drawing your bow very slowly toward the floor. One, two, three, four, and up. Two, three, Four and quarter, 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 rest, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Now let's put that action into music. 
Starting on your C string, third finger goes down. This is F. You're going to hold this note for four beats. Remember, a whole note is the only note in a measure. One, two, three, four. C string and hold four, four beats. Now in long, long ago, you're going to combine the half note with quarter notes, a whole note at the end plus a tie, so that whole note is actually four beats plus one more, so it's five all together. Um, no slurs? Okay, sounds good. Long, long ago. One, two, three, four. Please remember to read the box, orange box, or arpeggio is a chord whose pitches are played one at a time. Your first arpeggio uses the first, third, and fifth and eighth steps from the C major scale. Here's your C scale and arpeggio. One, two, three, four. Fifty-four is meant for in class. It is not that interesting to hear it outside of class, but if you wish to play it, you may, of course. I'm not going to demonstrate it. There isn't anything new for you there. However, I am going to demonstrate Monday's melody because it has a lot of hoops for you to jump through. Not only are we learning the notes on our C string, we're adding string crossings and slurs. In addition to, there's a DCL fine, just like you had in Banana Boat, for example. Um, watch out, there's a bow lift. Only one in this song. It's a really cute little piece, and I hope you'll enjoy it. One, and two, and three, four. <laughs>
aquilo.